السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد يقول الله تعالى في كتابه المجيد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَظَلُومٌ كَفَّارٌ صدق الله العظيم My beloved brothers, sisters, our young children, the topic which I have assigned is the countless blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is one of the topic that we should remember all the time. We should reflect upon the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself calls all human beings, all people, all nation, individuals and groups to remember those blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Fatir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls everyone, Ya ayyuhal nas, uzkuru ni'mat Allahi alaykum. Hal min khaliqin ghayru Allah, yarzukukum min as-samai wal ard, la ilaha illa hu, fa'anna tu'fakun. That, O people, remember the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is there any creator than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who provides you from the heaven and from earth? La ilaha illahu. There is none of the worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no God except He. So why are you lost? So in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls everyone, call all human beings, those who live on this planet, to remember Allah's blessing. And this is human nature that we forget. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew. And he reminds everyone. He reminding that he is the provider. He is the real provider and creator. And you should obey him only. And also in one of the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا In two places of Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this part of ayah. That if you were able to count Allah's blessings, Allah's ni'mah, you can't number them. But still, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful and is forgiving. So if you want to number those blessings and the bounties and the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you cannot number them. And the human being is still ungrateful, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is still forgiving and showing mercy upon him. And in another ayah of Surah Ibrahim, Allah says, Inna insana la dhalumun That indeed, the human being is surely his unjust and ungrateful. And this is part of why we have to reflect on that. That of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showing all his blessings, countless blessings, day and night, we as a human being taking benefits and taking advantage of those blessings. But still, millions of people, even they don't know who's real creator, who's real khaliq, who's real provider. And even human beings are ungrateful, unjust. And they're using all the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all blessings and favor, but still they're not coming towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They forget the blessings. They are unjust with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with themselves. They are using Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's all blessings, but still they are unjust with those bounties and with those blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even they're not thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kaffar, la kaffar. 
And you know, human nature is that if somebody favors us, we are so grateful to them. And we remember and we talk about those, uh, those favors that, oh, mashallah, he did so and so. And we thank him and we give gifts and so many things. But we, as a human, we use all the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are alive, we are here, and we're coming on the ground of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're using everything of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we forget that we have rights over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have to th thank Him by our tongue, by our hearts, and we should uh, do something through our body parts. In Quran, also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds those types of blessings and na'mah and favors. In so many ayahs, Quran is full of, full of blessings. In many ayahs, many surahs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds everyone, even human beings, jinn, and those who are living creature on this planet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds them of his blessings. The ayah which I have recited, surah An-Nahl, where Allah says, وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَغَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ If you are able to count Allah's blessing, you cannot. You cannot even number them. This ayah is from Surah An-Nahl. And Surah An-Nahl, one of the Surah of Quran, one of the chapter of Quran, is full of blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All natural blessings, all natural resources and ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This Surah is full. And one of the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we use in our food, as food that is beef. And even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named this surah, surah An-Nahl. So before this ayah, the background of this ayah, or the previous ayah of this, if you see those ni'mah mentioned before, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ That he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who have created the heavens and the earth. Then خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانِ And he is the one who created human beings. والعنعام, and he is the one who created all types of animals. خيل والبغال والحميد. And he is the one الذي أنزل من السماء ماء. He is the one who sent down the rain that you use as a drink. Your animals use as a drink. And through the water you, you grow all types of food. And he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created through water all, all types of fruits. زيتون والنخيل والعناب. Olives and the dates and and, and fruit and grapes and all types of fruit. And in same ayahs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds, Indeed, in this, there is a sign, great sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you want to ponder upon. In this, there is a great sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you want to understand. In this, Indeed, there is a sign on this if you want to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, so many things. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminded the other side of the ni'mah, sakhar al bahr the ocean resources that human beings are using. And then again, so many here and there. And afterwards, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهِ And if you want to count those ni'mah that we are getting benefits of it, we cannot. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this land, this earth for us, this planet. The heaven, you see the sun and the, the moon and so many, the stars. And every day the scientists are discovering uh, so many planets. And we are walking on the ground of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth. We are building our houses, convention center, and we're using a lot of resources of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, res natural resources. We are alive, we are breathing. We are walking, we are having our, our way on this ground, on the highways and so many things. We have mountains, we have rivers, we have oceans, so many things. But even, I don't remember that, even I say sometimes, uh, Alhamdulillah, by our hearts, that, oh Allah, I am living on your planet. I, I am breathing on your planet. I am using your water. I am using your air. I'm using your fire, everything. But we never say, uh, uh, Alhamdulillah. And we're supposed to. This is the reminder that, Uthkuru Allah. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not reminding only us, reminding all people. In Surah Waqiyah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us in the other way 
أَفْرَأَيْتُمْ مَا تُمْنُونَ أَفْرَأَيْتُمْ الْمَاءَ الَّذِي تَشْرَبُونَ He asked the question, do you see this water? Are you, you, you use? You are the, uh, who, who created this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَفْرَأَيْتُمْ النَّارَ الَّذِي تُورُونَ You see the fire that you cook your food or you use. Who, who's the one, the creator? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, so many things, my dear brothers and sisters. Quran is full. And in Surah Al-Rahman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the other way says, He reminds all humans and jinns that which favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will deny. All physical, natural, and, and spiritual blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Rahman, spiritual blessings also mentioned. So we should remember, my dear brothers and sisters. And we should come towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Ibn Qayyim rahmahullah says that there are 10 items, 10 sources that you become too close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will be thankful to him and you can have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through these sources. And one of these sources, pondering and reflecting the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you ponder upon, you will come too close to him. You will have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your hearts. My dear brothers and sisters, with these, the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have many other ni'mah. And in general, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا بِكُمْ مِن نِعْمَةِ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ Whatever bounty you have, whatever blessing you have, whatever favor you have, whatever comfort you have, whatever ni'mah you have, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever you're enjoying with is not yours. Of course, you struggle for that. But he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who provided you and you're enjoying with. Summa idha massakum fa ilayhi taj'aroon. So you be thankful to him. But the, again, the nature of human beings, when we enjoy these things, we, we, we forget. But when the tragedy comes, musibah comes, trials come, then again we, we come forward to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again reminds, وَمَا بِكُمْ مِن نِعْمَةِ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ That whatever ni'mah you have is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And again, you can list how many ni'mah every one of us has. Nobody can deny that, oh, I don't have any favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every human being, every living thing on this planet have ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And first of all, as a human being, we are so honored on this planet that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favored us, made us ashraful makhluqat, best creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Walaqad karramna bani adam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed us as a khalifa on this earth, on this planet. And our job should be to create this world, not to have fasad everywhere, not killing each other, not spreading fitna and fasad. But we have to spread peace everywhere, throughout the world. This is our duty as a Khalifa. And this is our title. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَهُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَكُمْ خَلَائِفَ الْأَوْضِ وَرَفَعَ بَعْضَكُمْ فَوْقَ بَعْضٍ دَرَجَاتٍ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ فِي مَا And my dear brother and sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us beautiful body. Everyone has same body. But with different, with different of color, with different... Uh, uh, energy and ability but is, again it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he reminded us that he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you and honor you with these all body parts in one of the ayah surah Nahal Allah says Wallahu akhrajakum min butuni ummahatikum la ta'lamun shayya wa ja'ala lakum as-sam'a wal absara wal afidah la'allakum tashkurun he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you from your stomach of your mothers and he brought you. And you didn't know nothing when you, when you were born. And he's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the eyes. They give you the ears, the eyes, and the hearts. So you may thankful to him. So he's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all these things. All body, all sense, the heart, the eyesight, the ear, and all energy, the brain. And everyone is smart. It's through of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And every body part is set there. Hundreds of trillions of cells are there working inside of our body. And a lot of things, machinery is there. A lot of wires in our eyesight. 
as scientists discovered, many things. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the human body is one of the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks people, وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْصِرُونَ And check yourself, your body. And don't you see what type of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, the body part given you and bless you? And the purpose again, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ So you made thankful to. So my dear brother, sister, everything that we, we have, our eyes, our ear, our lips, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, lisanam wa shafatain, our mouth, and everything that we have, it is a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But do we recognize how many times we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And sometimes when we lose this, our na'mah of Allah, blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that time we value. If you lose your eye, if you lose uh, your any body part, your lack, that time you will realize how this valuable uh, item Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided us. So my dear brother and sister, we have to reflect on these blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the blessings that we, we, we see now, our family. Family is a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself talk about that he is the one who had family for you. وَاللَّهُ جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفَسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا Again from Surah Nahal, this ayah. As I said, Surah Nahal is full of blessings. وَاللَّهُ جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَزْوَاجِكُمْ بَنِينَ مِنْ أَزْوَاجًا وَجَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَزْوَاجِكُمْ بَنِينَ وَحَفَدًا وَرَزَقَكُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ أَفَ بِالْبَاطِلِ يُؤْمِنُونَ وَبِنِعْمَةِ اللَّهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for you the children, baneen, wahafada, and the grandchildren. And he didn't leave you hungry. Razaqakum minat tayyibat. He provided you all good risk, all delicious food. And then again, the question is raised. Afa bil batuli yuminun, wa bina'matillah yakfurun. So still people, they believe in falsehood, and they deny Allah ni'mah. So this is Allah's name that we are here. We, we are with families. We enjoy with family. We, we enjoy our spouses. We enjoy our children. This is a great name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And again, whatever name we have, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us on the day of judgment. He will ask us about the children. He will, he will ask us about the family and, and, the, uh, and the spouses. In one of the hadiths, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, especially men, Alam nuzawwijka? Alam uzawwijka? Didn't, I, uh, didn't I marry you? So the wives and the spouses is the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And day and night, and every time, mashallah, we eat, we enjoy food, and especially in America, every time we can get anything to eat. All the time people eat. This food is a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially on the party and when you go for hajj and umrah, when you stay in the, in the restaurant, a lot of things. The rice dishes, the meat dishes, the sea dishes, and the dessert, and then the drinks. Where it comes from? It is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my dear brothers. But how many times we are thankful to him? And again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but be thankful to him and do not waste. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, kulu min tayyibati ma razaqnaakum, wa shkuru lillah in kuntum iyyahu ta'abudu. That all believers eat the good thing, not haram, halal thing. This is tayyibat, delicious, what we have provided you. And be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you want to obey him only. And in one place Allah says, in Surah Al-Aam, again in Surah Al-Aam, so many blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were mentioned. Allah says, Kulu, washrabu, wala tusrifu, innahu la yuhibbul musrifi. That eat, enjoy with your food, eat and drink, but do not waste. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like those who are wasting his, his foods or drinks. But again, this, is, this should be our job at home, in our party places, and even anywhere we go, we shouldn't waste. Our, our, our food, our mind. There are hundreds of people are hungry. They don't have any, any food. So our job should be to remember them and to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are many lists of the blessings, my dear and brothers and sisters. We cannot 
even number them as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. One of the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reminded us that the health that we have, the money we have, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but people are very careless. Ni'matani, kathiru min al-nasi maghbunun fiha, as-sahatu wal-faraq. Rasulullah reminding us, there, there, there are two ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, two great favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but most of the people are ungrateful, or people are careless. First is as sah that's the health we have. Again, we are healthy, we can walk, we can run, we can struggle, we can do the ibadat correctly if we are healthy. So we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also when we have time, alhamdulillah, we are here. And we are enjoying the convention because we have time. And but so many people are there, but they're not using their time. So Rasulullah reminded us. And my dear brothers and sisters, every breath that we are breathing, it is a ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are alive. The life we have, we are very lucky, we are very blessed that we see each other. We see our loved one, our parents, our children. We are alive. So with every breath, we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are enjoying our time, our life. But again, this life is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the same time, we will be accountable on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us about life, whatever lifetime we have. And umrihi fima afna, that what you did with your lifetime. So we should be ready for that. And also, my dear brother and sister, last thing, that we are so blessed among all those people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honors us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon us with the ni'mah of Islam. We have great deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And through this deen, we became ummati muslima, ummati wahida. Through this deen, we got Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a final prophet. We received Quran through Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, final revelation. And we have complete way of life. And our job should be to follow this deen, my dear brothers. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمْ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ Remember those ayah. الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ وَأَتْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِي وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمْ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ That today I have completed deen for you and I have completed my ni'mah, my great favor for you. And I have chosen you this deen as, as a way of life, as is, um, this Islam as a deen, as deen for you. So our job should be that without any fear, we should follow. We should show our istiqamah. And when we follow this deen, the success will be here in this world and in the hereafter. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq that we, we should be thankful to all the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Prophet Sulaiman made this dua, Rabbi awza'ani an ashkura ni'mataka allati an'amta alayh wa ala walidayh wa an'amala salihan tardah wa adkhilni bi rahmatika fi ibadika salihin. That my Lord, give me tawfiq so I can thank your ni'mah that you have bestowed upon me, bestowed upon me, on my parents, Prophet Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam. And give me tawfiq so I can do good things. And, and you will be pleased with that. And by your mercy, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, include me among the good people. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam taught us this dua, and we should remember this, Allahumma inna na'uzu bika min zawali ni'matik. That, O oh Allah, we ask your refuge, that whatever ni'mah we have, we should continue, you cannot remove this ni'mah from us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tawfiq. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lissa'il muslimin. Innahu wal ghafuru rahim wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil.